are you in a constant competition or like seeming rivalry with your siblings? You always feel that in your family, you have to prove who you are. You have to prove your worth. Today, we'll talk about competition among siblings or otherwise known as sibling rivalry. How does it affect you and what it does to a family member and how can we actually deal with it? Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Alignay. I'm a family psychologist speaker and author. Some of the most common questions or even concerns that we get from readers is sibling competition. Maybe you can relate to this. Somebody asked, I have siblings and I always feel like there's an unhealthy competition among us whenever it comes to our achievements in life. It's starting to affect my self-esteem. How do I deal with this? That's a common issue, especially for Filipino families. You know, let's look at it in the line of sibling competition. When we say sibling rivalry, it's too much drama in the family. And we don't, of course, want that. But we cannot deny that there is such thing. If we say sibling competition, we can acknowledge that there is such thing. It can be healthy and it can be unhealthy. So if we are becoming a good person and we are becoming the best version of who we are because our siblings are actually supporting us and actually becoming our springboard for us to be better, that's healthy. But it's no longer healthy if it's eating you up. If everything you do, you feel that you're a failure. If the things that you're doing, you feel that it's not about you, but you're trying to prove your place and your worth in the family, I think it's something that we need to sit down and talk about. When does sibling rivalry really start? I'll be honest with you. You are not in control of how it started because it started honestly by your parents or even the people around you. Some people do not know any better, so their tendency is to motivate us growing up by using another person as the benchmark for us to be better. Oh, look at her. She's so good. Or look at her. She's doing so well. You should do that also. And because of the shoulds and because of the constant comparison, that becomes the pattern that brings a lot of inner issue. And I've seen so many adults and I observe so many families ang tanda na nila, ang issue pa rin nila. Meron silang inner wound. Meron silang inis or galit that they cannot put a name on it. But when you just look at it, it's because the tendency of the older ones, the authoritative figures, maybe your parents, teachers, titos and titas, lolos and lolas, let's forgive them because they compared you. But right now, you have to take charge. You have to know that you did not want to be in a competition with anybody but yourself. We can move away from unhealthy sibling competition because they are not your competition. They are family. So now that you are adults, forgive the people who have hurt you because they compared you. Forgive that tita or tito who have given you that remark. Maybe forgive that teacher because they no longer are in charge. You are in charge. As adults, we are in charge. So look and have a scan about how your wounds can actually be healed now and you can actually overcome. Start doing things for you to recognize your uniqueness, your giftedness, and your unique talents. Do not compare. When you start comparing, you are referring to the old wounds, to the old patterns, to the comments that you are adhering to growing up. You have to be in charge now. We are not our siblings. You are you.